lovely Cracker Barrel parking lot we're waking up in today. So since my last video, we haven't made it very far. We're just outside of the Everglades at this uh, Cracker Barrel. This is where we slept last night. And honestly, it was like nothing I've ever seen before last night. When I pulled in here to go to sleep, this entire lot, all of those spots right there, that entire row of cars, that entire row of cars, this entire strip right here, and then the strip across the way was completely packed to the brim with other vans, RVs, campers, trailers, and just like, it was like the entirety of van life was staying in this parking lot last night. It was actually crazy. Or I've never seen that many van life slash RV lifers in one spot. But I will say, it is kind of nice when it happens though, because it makes it feel like there's uh, some sort of community when you stay in spots like this. But anyways, let's make some breakfast. So I'm really hoping that I have enough propane left. I know I've been saying that for the past like three or four videos, but I still haven't gone to get more propane. I have it in my notes to go today when we go to Walmart, but I think I should have enough to uh, cook up some eggs. And I think we're gonna do something a little bit different today than my classic breakfast. And I'm gonna make myself a breakfast burrito. And I don't know what it is, but there's something in this fridge that smells. I've taken it out, I've cleaned it out, but it still smells super weird and I can't figure out what it is. Also, if anyone has any tips on how to uh, figure this whole situation out up here, I haven't been able to use my freezer in like a year and a half. I guess maybe I just have to turn the fridge off, let it melt, and then repack it. But if anyone has any other suggestions, let me know. Also, someone commented on my videos that you're not supposed to leave these handles on while you cook, so thank you for that. Probably saved me a couple of those. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. Usually I'm pretty good with the one-handed egg cracks. Oh, there we go, that one was good. Two for three, not bad. Turn this down a little bit. So I always get people asking me why I use fully cooked bacon instead of uh, fresh bacon. It's just because it's so much easier to heat up, throw into something without all the extra grease and cooking time. So especially with living in a van when you don't have a full dishwasher, just kind of substituting the fresh bacon for this kind of bacon, it just makes the most sense. Pico, cheese. in there all right so I made one of these yesterday and the uh, burrito came out looking really good so hopefully we can repeat that again today oh yeah it's perfect so since we are just outside of the Everglades today I drove around for probably an hour and a half going into like four or five different stores looking for alligator meat, which I guess in my naive opinion, I thought it would be easy to find down here in Southern Florida, but apparently it's not. And it took forever for me to find it yesterday, but I finally went to this butcher shop that was right on the coast and they had this super tiny pack of alligator meat for $23. So I bought it and that's what we're gonna be cooking up tonight. So I've never had alligator meat before, but I've heard that it tastes like chicken. So I think since we're so close, I'm gonna head down to the uh, Everglades, find a spot to camp tonight out in the wilderness, hopefully, and cook up some fried alligator nuggets, which will be interesting. Delicious. And for those of you who are following along on this trip from uh, Key West to Alaska, so far we have only driven 300 miles, which in the grand scheme of things really isn't that much. And today we're not getting any closer to Alaska because we're staying in Southern Florida. But before we head over to the campsite tonight, I gotta head to Walmart to uh, pick up some supplies. It's a good thing there was one two minutes down the road from the Cracker Barrel that we parked at. So that's really convenient. So I looked up a uh, pretty simple recipe for alligator chicken nuggets. And I don't really need that many ingredients. I kind of have a lot of what I would already need. So I just cannot forget to get propane while we're in here. So I really didn't need to get much, just kind of the oil for frying them. They didn't have buttermilk again. They didn't have it for my last recipe either, so I'm gonna have to make my own with regular milk. 
Um, then I got some broccoli for a side. And since I like that other Kinder's seasoning so much, I just got some buttery poultry blend. So, so that's what we're gonna season the alligator with and hopefully it's good. Since the alligator meat, that's right here, I've been letting it thaw out for the entire day. King Creole sirloin alligator meat. But since it needs to sit in the buttermilk for a while, I'm gonna get it prepped right now so that it's ready to go uh, when I go to cook it later tonight. So I've never made my own buttermilk before, but apparently it's pretty easy. And you just gotta kinda add a cup of milk. And then a tablespoon of white vinegar for the acidity because when I was reading up online, the thing that you need from the buttermilk is the uh, acidity of it. So well, that's what this vinegar gives you. Mix that around. And then I'm also gonna add some of this uh, seasoning in there so that hopefully the alligator will have some time to soak this up while it's uh, sitting in the fridge. And then I don't know how this alligator meat comes. It says it's a sirloin alligator meat. I don't really know what that means. So I'm hoping it's big pieces of alligator that I can cut up into small nuggets, but I guess we'll see. Wow, that looks exactly like chicken. That's crazy. Like, if you brought this out and told me it was chicken, I would 100% believe you. <laughs> he was probably so confused. It's definitely got a little bit different texture than chicken does, I'm not gonna lie. But it looks smack like it. There we go. We got it all cut up into little chicken nugget sized pieces. I'm gonna hit these with just a little bit of salt and then throw them in this seasoned water milk mixture. Pop the lid on there. And we can stick this in the fridge. I'm also gonna take this trash out before I head out there because it's got that raw alligator meat juice in it. And I also cannot believe that I actually forgot to get propane, so we're gonna have to drive back up to the front of the store and pick that up before we uh, head out. All right, so I just ran inside and apparently they say they're fully out of propane. I see a bunch of tanks in there, but I guess maybe they're all empty. So we're gonna have to go somewhere else to pick it up. Oh, looks like, <laughs> looks like the propane truck is actually here. They're just getting a delivery, so they should have propane. And also my fridge has swung open on the drive over here. Luckily nothing flew out, but I'm just gonna pull up right behind the uh, blue rhino truck and go get myself some fresh propane. First, I gotta go, what? The fridge closed itself. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, you too. Smooth back up. Let's give it a quick test, make sure it works. There we go. Beautiful. Now, we're finally all ready to go to head over to that campsite in the Everglades. So we're about uh, 45 minutes from where we're gonna be camping tonight, according to the map. And I was looking at it and there's actually a water fill up station kind of close to where we're going. So I'm gonna stop by there, just top off my water tanks because whenever it's convenient to do that, I like to do it. So I'm gonna do that first. There should be a dump station slash freshwater fill up somewhere in here. And I don't know what it is about this area, but something about it makes me feel like dinosaurs live here. Like the palm trees and the, the ferns and the water. It just looks very uh, prehistoric. All right, so that was the dump station. Definitely don't want to get water from there. I think the freshwater is up here. And the back of my van is an absolute disaster. Yeah. 
There we go. She is filling up. Oh, wow. I had over half a tank left. I didn't even really need to stop here. Still gonna top off when I can. And I don't know if it makes sense that something about this place just feels prehistoric. It's just a really cool landscape out here, honestly. And this RV park wouldn't be too bad to stay at if there wasn't free spots right down the road. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks just about full. Go ahead and uh, turn that off. All right, now we're good to go find our uh, campsite for the night. I think it's only like 15 minutes down the road from where we are. Looks like it'll be a uh, dirt road back there too. So I think essentially what I'm looking for is just a spot kind of like right on the side of this road. Honestly, I can pretty much pull off anywhere. I'm, I'm just kind of looking for a spot that has somewhat of a view, maybe next to some water or uh, an open field or something like that. All right, so I think I'm gonna pull off right here. This looks like a somewhat decent view to spend the night. So this is probably as close as you're gonna get to BLM land in Florida. Birds over there screaming. Because there's really none in the state, so unless you're camping at a campground, you're not really gonna get to be able to uh, camp out in the wilderness like this, so this is nice. It's really quiet, really peaceful. I don't expect too many cars to be coming down this road either, but um, yeah, definitely not a bad spot. Ow, I stepped on an anthill by accident, it bit me. Ow. That didn't feel good. I guess there's worse things that I could get bit by out here. I'm hoping that there's not too many, uh... Ow! God, I got bit by another, there's like five on my foot. That hurt. I guess I kind of deserved it though, stepping on their, uh, stepping on their house. So I think I'm actually gonna open one of those back doors, get a nice breeze through here because it's like, Perfect weather out, it's 69 degrees. The van is actually pretty comfortable on the inside and it's supposed to get down pretty cool tonight, which is nice. So those ant bites really itch. They're starting to raise and get pretty itchy. And one got me right in between my pinky toe. That one really sucks. So I don't think there's really too much going on. Out here it's kind of like a marsh prairie with some palm trees. And then over on this side, it's kind of a little bit more of the same. There's also a little creek that runs right back behind there. Can't really reach it through all of this brush, but other than that, it was pretty much, it was pretty much the exact same the entire way in that I came. And it looks like it's pretty much the exact same all the way back that way. So this isn't the most spectacular spot, but it's, uh, it's nice to be out in the wilderness and get some peace from all the other campers and people that I've been staying near in the parking lots. And I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the channel, but I do have a little antenna cactus topper. I didn't realize until right now, but he's missing one of his little arms. And when I left two years ago, he was stark white, and now he's like a off, he looks like a turd. It's not, it's a little, it's a little cactus. So if you ever see that on the road, that's pretty much the only distinct feature about my van. So you know, it's me. I'm not quite too hungry yet. So I don't think I'm gonna get started cooking dinner for probably about another hour. So I think for now, I'm honestly just going to uh, enjoy this really cool weather and play some Xbox. And I actually surprisingly have a uh, pretty good signal in here. I got like three bars, so. It's honestly so nice to finally be out here, be able to keep my doors open, have it not be ridiculously hot or ridiculously humid. The other day I almost forgot that it was January in the middle of winter. I thought it was summer because I'm so not used to it being uh, this warm this time of year since I'm from Maryland, so. It's been weird. Gotcha. And there we go. That's how you do it. Let's make some dinner. So before I get the uh, alligator out, I'm gonna get this oven preheated so we can get the broccoli in there. 
I'll let that preheat up a bit. I forgot to buy olive oil at the store, so I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this vegetable oil and some salt, garlic powder, and then some pepper. And I'm going to throw them in there and just let them roast for 20 minutes. All right, now let's get these uh, little alligator cutlets breaded. So the only thing really left to do is to make the uh, seasoned flour. And that's actually gonna be pretty simple because I'm just using that seasoning. I'm just using that uh, seasoning mix that I bought. We'll take just about a cup of this flour. And then we can just start dunking these bad boys in there. Gator nuggets. There we go. So I got all the uh, alligator nuggets coated, ready to go. Just waiting for the oil to heat up, and then we're cooking. All right, so we're almost up to temperature. The broccoli is baking up real nicely. I'm excited for dinner tonight. I'm excited to. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. See if it actually tastes like chicken or not. Let's go ahead and get these thrown in there. I'll probably do this in two batches because I don't want to overcrowd the oil too much. And there we go, that'll be our first batch, and then we'll cook the rest of these once these are done. All right, so the first batch is almost done, and I'm actually gonna take the broccoli out real quick. Throw that up here. And I found this Parmesan in my fridge, and uh, I don't really have a use for it, so I'm just gonna throw it on top of this broccoli, let it get all melty, and then, uh, and then pop these back in the oven. Another five minutes, and then that should be done. And I think these are just about ready to pull out. Get the towel before I do that. Look at that. That looks beautiful. There we go. That's the last one from the first batch. I'm going to throw the rest of these in there while those cool off, and then we're eating. All right, I've got all the uh, chicken nuggets pulled out, put on the plate. Broccoli's done. Now let's get it plated and eat up because I'm starving and the sun is just starting to set. It's actually a pretty nice view. And there we go. That is our alligator chicken nuggets, Parmesan, broccoli, and ranch dressing dinner cooked out in the uh, Florida Everglades. So let's eat. I am very excited to see what this tastes like. We have a real crispy one. Cheers to my first time ever eating alligator. I mean, like it definitely somewhat tastes like chicken. I'm truly not very confident that if you just gave me all of these nuggets and told me that they were chicken, that I would have honestly tasted the difference. There definitely is a slightly different taste than chicken, but it's really not too far off. Very good though. You know what it tastes like? It tastes exactly like a chicken thigh. Definitely really good. If you like chicken, you'll definitely like alligator. But yeah, I mean, the alligator's good. It's just... There's nothing spectacular about it. It's expensive. Um, so I probably wouldn't buy it again or go out of my way to make it again, but definitely cool to try once. All right, I think I'm done. I still got a ton left, so that'll be good. I'm gonna go uh, try to make peace with my aunt friends, give them a little offering to say sorry for stepping on their home earlier. Looks like they're already out here rebuilding. Give them some cheese, some nice Parmesan, break it up for them. There we go. Now my little aunt friends have a nice dinner to eat tonight while they rebuild their home. I wish it wasn't so cloudy out today too because I bet that sunset would be spectacular. And a lot of times that's the best thing about being out here is the sunsets. Anyways, I hope my uh, little aunt friends enjoy their dinner. I gotta get all this cleaned up and if you watch my other video you already know what I do with the oil. Typically I'll just pour the oil into Ziploc bags and then throw those Ziploc bags away whenever I can. So uh, 
I'm gonna do that, clean all this up real quick, get all this put in the fridge, and then uh, start getting ready for bed. So I got most of the kitchen cleaned up, the van swept, cleaned, uh, wiped down the cabinets because there was kind of like grease everywhere for my fingers from the oil. I got my little bag of discarded oil. I triple bagged it in here and I'll throw that away when I get back into town. But I think I'm going to pull the van forward a little bit. I gotta close this door to get away from this anthill because I've had issues before where I was, uh, where I was parked and I woke up in the morning to a van completely overrun by ants and they had a train running from their little house up my tire, up the front of my van, through here, down one of these, around, back up and on top of my counter and they were crawling all over the place eating all the crumbs. So I'm just gonna move the van because right there is a little bit too close to my van where I feel like they're gonna go searching for more Parmesan cheese once they finish their little snack, so. There we go. This should be good enough. And just make sure really quick that there's no other anthills or anything. All right, looks like we're pretty good. It's getting into uh, spooky hours out here too. It's real quiet. So I think I'm probably gonna head in for the night, hunker down in the van and call that successful first time alligator chicken nuggets. So since it's not too hot out tonight, I'm not gonna pull the AC out. I'm just gonna open up these fans, get this one turned on, open up this one. Oh, this one's already open. And there we go. It's nice to have some uh, somewhat moderate weather for a change. I actually can't wait to get back, uh, back up north into the colder weather because it's just so much easier to bundle up and stay warm than it is to like try to take everything off and stay cool. So I am excited to get out of this hot weather, but I think that's gonna be it for the rest of the night. I'm probably just gonna hang out in the van uh, watch a movie and then uh, get some work done. So I will check in with you guys in the morning Good morning Last night was by far the best night's sleep I've gotten so far on the trip. It was so cold. I did suck in a Few bugs. I don't know if you guys can see them There's a bunch of dead bugs on the top side of this fan that I pulled in here last night from having it running Got down to like 55 54 last night and it was absolutely perfect for sleeping and I think only one car drove by in the night, or at least one car that woke me up kind of early on. And then after that, it was pretty uh, it was pretty quiet the rest of the night, at least from what I know, because most of it, I was asleep. But we slept in a little bit, so it's getting late, and I got to be up in Tampa by this afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here from this beautiful roadside spot just outside of the Everglades and head up there because I'm meeting my brother for dinner and a bunch of his friends, so. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you click that subscribe button. It really does help. And I will catch you guys next time.